Hi, this is Roy Oppenheim, foreclosure defense attorney and legal blogger. I want to talk today about what's going on in the foreclosure market because in reality, uh, there are really very few foreclosures right now and there are very few people who are going into foreclosure. I want to talk about why that is and when and how that is going to change. First and foremost, uh, there are very few people in foreclosure right now because there's a foreclosure moratorium for the most part where uh, the federal government is restricting banks from foreclosing on, on, on people as well as restricting landlords from ejecting and, and evicting tenants. And every 90 days that gets extended. It just got extended on March 31st, so it's going through April, May, and the end of June. And then the question is, will it be extended uh, one more time from July, August, and September? My opinion is that it will get extended. And so the moratorium will probably go to the summer or through the end of the summer. And then after that, things are going to change, and they'll change rather dynamically, uh, first slowly and then, and then much faster. What's going to happen is, is that people who cannot catch up on their, on their rents, can't, get up, can't catch up on their mortgages, will ultimately uh, be foreclosed upon. The banks will try and do workouts, they'll try and do modifications. In some cases, they'll, they'll, they'll maybe do deed and lose, but at the end of the day, uh, many people will not be able to meet their mortgage obligations and won't be able to catch up, and they won't necessarily be able to do modifications, and that's when the foreclosure process will begin. The large law firms, the big mills, are now literally shadows of themselves acting on, on a skeleton staff. They will start to, to ramp up. They will get the green light from the government-owned you know, Fannie and Freddie-backed uh, uh, mortgage companies, and they will then begin the foreclosure process. And when that happens, that will have a dynamic effect on pricing on, on housing. As most people know, houses are, are up effectively 10% this year. There are now uh, less houses for sale than there are realtors in the United States. And so that dynamic will start to change. Prices will not continue to go up. The pressure from the foreclosure market will, will actually dampen the, the price increases and may uh, adjust them so they don't continue to go up and, and conceivably maybe even go down a bit. But the likelihood is that they just won't continue to go up as much. We'll see this dynamic more in the under probably four or $500,000 market where people who are, have been severely affected and are part of that K economy, the lower part of the K, uh, who aren't able to necessarily work at home, and those people are going to be more impacted in, in the foreclosure market. The higher end will be less impacted because many of these folks uh, have put more cash down, have more equity in their homes, and therefore they haven't been as affected by these, these moratoriums, and many of them uh, just continue to make their payments. So folks who haven't been making their payments, we're going to try and help you, we're going to try and try and do workouts, but when those workouts don't happen, then you're going to end up uh, in a foreclosure defense. And of course, there's also bankruptcy. Bankruptcy is at an all-time low right now because no one needs to go bankrupt because they're not being thrown out of their homes. That will all change. We're going to see this massive dynamic, and, it, and it's going to be something that we're all going to have to live with. Uh, those people who, who are going to suffer from this, we can help you, we can defend you, we can help you work this out. We, were, we did this uh, 12 years ago and figured this out for thousands and thousands of homeowners, and we'll be here for you this time too. And then there'll be the investors who think that there's an opportunity to, to actually uh, take advantage of this situation, as unfortunate as it sounds. Uh, but we too uh, can provide some assistance and guidance through our title company, Western Title and Escrow. So if you're on either end of the spectrum, Roy Oppenheim from Western Title, Roy Oppenheim from Oppenheim Law, we are here to help you and figure this all out. Have a great day. Thanks.